This week in All About Animals, we are going to be learning all about cats. What do cats like to eat on a hot day? I'll give you a second to think about it. Drum roll, please. A mice cream cone. <laughs> <laughs> Around the world, there are 38 different species of cats. But did you know that lions, tigers, leopards, jaguars, and cheetahs are also part of the cat species? So you shouldn't be surprised if your house cat acts a little wild from time to time. It does share DNA with a lion. Cats first started living with people nearly 9,500 years ago. The ancient Egyptians loved their cats. We now refer to cats who live in our homes as domesticated. All cats, either domesticated or wild, do a lot of sleeping. On average, they sleep 13 to 14 hours per day. This helps them conserve their energy so they can hunt at night. Cats hunt at night for two reasons. The first is that they're nocturnal. They have much more energy at night because they sleep so much during the day. The second reason cats hunt at night is because of their extremely powerful night vision. They can see light six times better than humans can at night. So if you have a cat and always wondered why they want to play at night, this is why. If you do have a cat, maybe it's an outdoor cat, which means it can go in and out as he pleases. Or maybe you have an indoor cat, which means it doesn't go outside at all. And that's okay, but if you have an indoor cat, you have to remember that it shares DNA with a lion. This means you have to be prepared to entertain your cat, either with a string, a toy, or another animal in your home. This is Ziggy and George. On rainy days when nobody wants to go outside, they like to play with each other. This helps get their energy out. It is not uncommon for dogs and cats to get along, despite what you may have heard. Ziggy the dog and George the cat are great examples of this. If they're introduced in the right way, they could have an awesome friendship. By the way, Ziggy and I have no idea why George is fascinated with the bathtub. It is also possible for cats to be friends with other cats. This is because they are extremely social creatures. They are not pack animals like dogs or wolves, but they do get along with one another. However, in the wild, cats can fight if a strange cat enters the territory of another cat. It is natural for cats to want to be with other pets in your home. This is because they are social and extremely curious. If you don't have another pet, maybe your cat just wants to spend time with you. After their nap, of course. If you've ever been petting a cat and suddenly heard what sounded to be like a little motor coming out of them, that's a good thing. This is called purring. It's the cat's way of letting you know that it's very pleased with whatever you are doing to it. Although some humans are allergic to cats, they're actually very clean. They're equipped with a tongue that feels a little bit like sandpaper. It helps pick up debris from their fur, and they'll even lick their paws and rub it over their face to make sure their face stays nice and clean too. Cats are skilled at hunting birds, mice, chipmunks, and even bunnies, but you might find them hiding in some strange places in your home. This is because of their instinct. Cats are hunted in the wild by fox and larger mammals. So it's just natural for them to want to feel safe and protected. If you can remember how closely related domesticated cats are to lions and leopards and other big cats in the wild, and you give them the opportunity to get some energy out and hunt, they are an awesome pet. Their unique personalities could pleasantly surprise you. I hope you learned something cool about cats. The animal we're going to learn about next week is also in this picture. Hint, hint. See you there.